So one of the essential foundations of how we operate all of our brands, especially remotely, is a project management tool called ClickUp. This is very similar to Asana or Trello. It just has some unique advantages that we prefer. I'm not saying that you need to flip from Asana if that's kind of where you have your home base, but I at least wanted to deep dive into explicitly how we set up ClickUp and how we use it. So we've created an FBA blueprint example here, but this is precisely how I have all of my Amazon FBA brand set up. So if you basically think about it, um, there's spaces that are set up and how we have it set up in our own ClickUp account is that every brand gets its own space. So I'm not gonna give names here, but say FBA brand number one, FBA brand number two, FBA brand number three, et cetera, has its own space with discrete folders and tasks that we replicate across all the brands. I've also got a separate one for Heist Labs, which is what I use a lot for YouTube content, for this FBA Blueprint course, for affiliates and other things related to my broader Amazon influencer operating brand. So each one of these things has its own spaces, which is explicit with different projects, tasks, etc. You can also assign different people to different spaces or functional groups. If say you wanted to isolate your marketing team to only see marketing stuff and your finance accounting team to only see finance accounting stuff. So it's a fantastic, really versatile platform that we found to be very, very advantageous for managing tasks, work groups, and structures within our Amazon FBA businesses. So imagine this FBA Blueprint 1 was one of our brands. This is basically how we have it set up. So we've got a brand info section where we'll typically house videos in every asset on the brand. So if we've onboarded new employees, one of the first things that we have them do is to actually review the brand summary section. It's kind of the catch all to describe exactly what we do and what each of the products are. From there, we've got a product section and there's a lot in here. This is where we put a lot of our product research, our product ROI documents, anything related to sourcing and factories, our keyword lists we tend to put in here as well. We house our catalog listing reports, which I'll get into later on, but basically the backend flat files that we can use for each one of our products to upload changes as needed within Amazon. And then any of our listing information we also put here. So if you've got any tasks related to this, certain document links, things like that, related to product, we're gonna keep that all in the product section. The next is creative. This is related to listing photos, ads, video assets, A plus content primarily. And so if there's any tasks or work groups going on with any of these things here, we're gonna tag the necessary people and create those tasks within these various folders and sections. The next is traffic, and this is a massive hub for us. So any of our Amazon pay-per-click activities, promotions that we're running or need to run, editorials, Facebook group activities, Amazon and social posts is a big one, external ads, influencer marketing and finding those influencers, content marketing, SEO, and then any email campaigns we have. We create those tasks here as to-dos, and as they go along, we'll kind of see those happen within these folders. The next is operations, and this is anything to do with shipment logistics, customer service and support, vendor management, inspections, demand planning, purchase orders, and SOPs. So we tag each other with tasks in here and have some recurring tasks that go on that are all related to operations. The next is management. This is daily task reports, weekly task reports, monthly task reports. We've got a lot of recurring tasks in these various sections here. The financials is another one. We typically get financials on a monthly basis and have quarterly tax planning that will go into this. Reviews, which is Amazon review strategy. OKRs, which is a methodology we use to plan the actual business goals. And then we have competitive analysis that we'll house in here under management. And then finally, we've got a discrete thing for launches just to keep track of what's in the pipeline, when is it happening, and what do we need to do for all those different launch tasks. But the really cool thing is here, let's say we come into management and I've got a daily task that I wanna create. I might come in here and just tag somebody on my team. Let's say that I wanna have a daily review report. I could go ahead and save that. And then I could come into this task list here and I can assign somebody on my team. So let's say I wanna assign Nina to that task. So I've now added her. So let's say that I wanted to make this daily review report a daily task that's done on a recurring basis. I could come up here to the due date and I could go ahead and set recurring. It could occur daily and that could basically recur forever and then hit save. And then here in the description, I could plug in, you know, run, the daily review report 
find guru SOP here and then have an actual link off to the guru SOP. And then I could close that out. And now this is a recurring task that will run all the time. So Nini could come in here and then drag it to done when she's done. Another typical structure, depending on the actual section, is generally going to be a parking lot to do in progress and complete structure. So basically, as things are kind of you know assigned, we put them in the to-do section, and then we would basically drag those cards if they're being worked, and then we drag them to complete if they're finished. If they're kind of in flux and something stalled the project, we can put them in the parking lot for a later date. So it's a really cool Kanban structure to basically float these cards from section to section. So at a high level, this is how we use ClickUp. We'll get into more of those recurring daily, weekly, monthly tasks when we get into the management section, and you'll see how we set some of those up here within the ClickUp platform.